this. We've we know what's going on here. You I see you have some jerky! We sell it for ten thousand gold. You could make a hundred gold profit off of it, but don't do that. <laughs> Instead, just give it to her for free. You're giving it away? Thought there were no kind people left in this world. You can bet my children are gonna hear. Well, learn the value of sharing. Yeah, that, that they learned it from me, apparently. You're welcome, kids, for your lessons about sharing. Because I gave you jerky so that I could get something else, well, 400 years later. So let's go back into the present. Now that it is no longer an elder, it is a mayor. And hopefully he has learned this lesson of sharing. How you're supposed to figure this out? I'm not exactly sure, to be honest with you. I'm just kind of like, this is so random. <laughs> Go buy jerky, give it to somebody in the past, and they're like, oh, now he'll give it to you. <gasps> Do you want to give it to me? You're just in the move time. Well, someone simply left it here. Seems important to you folks. Why don't you take it? So we now have the moonstone. Let's take a look at that in our inventory. What do we have? Does it show anything? Organize. Hyper ether. Mega elixirs. But where is the moonstone? Good lord, do I have too many things. Oh my god. It's not even here. There is no moonstone here. Armor. You can't, like, equip it. Oh, there it is. Moonstone. No description. At all. Really, game? Nothing? It's a freaking awesome item. And you're just not gonna put it in at all? Like, like at all? What the hell is wrong with you? <gasps> okay, let's get back in the epoch then. We don't actually need to uh, travel through time right now. Yeah, that's what I thought. We need to head uh, south and west here. The world is a round place. Uh, so we can head over here. And we can make it back to the sun keep. Yeah, kind of weird how that works. The world is round? What? <laughs> we need to put the sunstone. Well, moonstone right now back in there. Does it at least show a faint glimmer of light when we put it here? Yes, leave it. It does leave a glimmer of light. So, we are on our way to getting this done. However, it looks like it needs a little bit more to charge because it's not called the sunstone yet. It's called the Moonstone still, so we need to go to 2380. Don't, don't go there. We need to go to the future. And then hopefully it will be fully ready for us. But I do need to change my party a little bit before we do that. Let's go ahead and land. And uh, let's see, who have we seen for a while? We haven't seen Kyra! Let's, let's go ahead and put her in. Everybody's level 40 except for Luke. Good lord, everybody's getting experience off screen. Uh, I don't think there's any penalty for in, in terms of experience for, for people not being in your party, to be honest with you. Because they seem to be leveling up at the same rate. Let's go into the Sun Keep. There might be a small penalty though, but it, it seems so minor. I do like to keep an even team though. Go, Kyra! Amazing. With this much energy, I can make a powerful weapon. Let's go back to my house now. And we're instantly teleported. Instantly teleported to our house. I'll modify the sunstone to extract its energy. Then we'll just vacuum pack it into a cartridge. What? I, that doesn't look good, Kyra. What are you doing? And it's finished! Oh, it worked. Sweet, I, I totally believed you the entire time. And we've got Kyra's ultimate weapon. We've got the Wonder Shot. Sometimes I amaze myself. You amaze me too, Kyra. Take a look, Kyra. I borrowed, borrowed a bit of the sunstone to create something nifty. And we got sunshades as well. And what? 
<laughs> oh, we had to warp outside, apparently. I don't know why we needed to warp outside, but we did. So, let us look at this new weapon. Her ultimate weapon from Shockwave, which was the best thing that I had for her. From 96 to 189. Damage can vary, but I don't really care. Good lord, is that good. Good lord, is that good. Okay. Now, I almost forgot about the where are they? Sunshades! Uh, they up attack power. As you can see, it doesn't really work. Oh. We can put it on, on, on JoJo, I guess. She has double, double star speed, I guess. But it ups attack power. It doesn't really show, you know, in the, in the stats. But it does. I swear it does. And it is now time! To move on to the next side quest now that we have completed the Sunstone and got the Wonder Shot. And now it's time to start our next side quest. This time we are going for the Rainbow Shell. Now we are in 600 AD. Now we are near, well, we're in the southeastern part of the map here at a cafe. So let's go ahead and go into said cafe. Now, this cafe we haven't really explored yet, but there is this man here. What is up, dude with the headband? Hey, Vash, I finally got a lead on the rainbow shell, but there's something odd going on. Oh, can you hang on to this for me? And he gives us his soda, his Tomas Pop. If I don't return, come to my grave and pour this on my headstone. Gee, is this morbid? <sighs> That is very morbid indeed. So, well, I bet I know where he did die. And that's in the future. We need to go to the present, back to 1000 AD. And hopefully we can, well, we can find his grave. <laughs> oh, that sounds so bad, doesn't it? That sounds just so bad. Uh. So we need to go uh, a little bit north and northwest here. Now, where is it? This one always bothers me just a little bit. Uh, oh! <laughs> right here. Here it is, the West Cape. This is what we're looking for. We need to head in here. And we need to go up to the top where there is a gravestone. The great adventurer Toma Levine rests here. He died in... I don't know if that's European or not. I'm going to go with that's March 6th, 634 instead of June 3rd. And, and we need to pour some out for the homies. <laughs> Down goes Toma! And his is that is that your ghost? Vash, long time no see. I've located the rainbow shell. To the northwest of this cape is a large island called the Giant's Claw. You can find the shell there. Do you have to sh zoom out so you can show me where this giant claw is? This is in the Middle Ages. It's all foggy. I can tell. <laughs> it's over there, you guys. It's totally right there. Super. Thank you, Toma. Your life was not completely in vain. But beware, there are many beasts about. Time to shove off. And away he goes into the air. Where he goes, he won't tell us. You guys are a riot a minute. See ya. Really? Did I crack him up that much? <gasps> Let's look on the back of his gravestone, where we can get a speed tab. Why that is there, I will never know. But we are done here in the West Cape. So it is time to get back into the epoch and we need to head back to 600 AD so that we can go locate this, uh, this rainbow shell. I forgot what we were looking for for a second, but it's definitely the rainbow shell. So, in order to do this, we need to head right up here and we will land and... Well, I'm going to save. 
Now you may notice that I have switched my party around just a little bit, and by a little bit I mean there's new members and everything. Uh, we have changed to Vash, Novin, and Bloon. Uh, Vash is on uh, Eon Equipment with the Power Ring, Novin's on Dark Helm Red Mail and the Gold Earring, Bloon is on the Eon Helm Red Vest and Dash Ring. I am expecting another fire enemy soon. Unfortunately, I still don't have a ruby vest. Probably should go back and buy one, but I'm happy uh, with just one character not having that. Let's go into Giant's Claw. That does not sound good. Doesn't sound good at all. Does this music sound familiar to anybody else? <laughs> Sounds familiar to me. Let's go over here. Tomas Crumbled Note. Those holes. What if I jump into them on purpose? Yes, I'll start back at the beginning and die 34 years from when I last talked to you. It's the Tyranno Lair. I recognize that throne anywhere. That's what I said, Novin. You don't listen. You never listen. This must have been pushed underground when Lavos filled the earth. Of course it did. Of course it did. Now let's move down here. And we can open up this treasure chest. Not before taking on these new enemies, unfortunately. These guys are, are no fun. Oh man, these guys, they're they're huge upgrades. Huge. Let's go ahead and use uh, Lightning 2. Should strike all enemies, if you remember the dinosaurs were always weak to lightning attacks. And yes, defensive power. And this guy, you know, freaking Ginosaur. Uh, let's go for the Leapers first. Damn, that's a lot of damage, though. That is a ton of damage. Let's go ahead and uh, finish off these Leapers. Then we can take on the Gigasaur. Because I have a feeling he's going to take a little bit longer to kill. Because he's fat. Die, Gigasaur. Critical Strike. Always appreciate it. Even when I don't have the Mass Moon in it. Because, well, it's... Well, it sucks, but they won't let me sell it for whatever reason. <laughs> Down goes the Gigasaur. For that, we get 1,408 experience, 35 tech points, 1,170 gold, a shield, and a barrier. Very nice. And we've learned a new dual, new dual tech, Cure Wave. I assume that's between Novin and Bloom, because it's been a while since we've had them together. Let's go ahead and look at that. Uh, no, there we go. Oh, there's so many. He's on. He's on the bottom here. Yes, Cure Wave restore all allies HP to full for about eight MP. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Let's go ahead and grab this. That's a sight cap, which we've seen before. I do need to heal a little bit, though. All right, let's move on. We need to head east from here, and here we do find more enemies. I assume you guys are upgrades. I forgot what you were called before, but now you are called Lizard Dactyls. That's not a fun name. Now these guys, contrary to uh, to what I've been saying before, are actually strong against and absorb lightning. So don't use lightning on them. Instead, just attack them and hope that you can take them down fairly quickly. Down goes one, thanks to a critical strike from Bash. But usually they do take a little bit of working on in order to get this done. It's not doing too much damage when they're just one at a time, though. Um, th well, yeah, if, if you hit them, though, with, uh, with lightning, they have a strong counterattack to do not hit them with lightning. I can't emphasize this enough. Is this going to be enough for the victory? No, we need at least one more hit. That should be enough, though. Down goes the Lizard Dactyls. We get 1,332 experience, 24 tech points. That's, those tech points, they are going to add up over time, even though Luke's no longer with us and he does need the, uh, the, most, the most tech points right now. No, kitty! I'll get you, kitty! I want the kitty. Damn it, where, how do I get the kitty? That's not the right button at all. <laughs> but we do have new enemies here. Again, we have upgrade. I, they were like doom apes. These are fossil apes. They throw people around. That somehow didn't do damage to Bloon at all. Bloon, you should have caught him. What the hell is your problem? Alright, let's go ahead and attack. Uh, you can heal, and then you can... Uh, 
you can attack. Too far away to counterattack. Do you have a counterattack? Damn you. Punch! Too far away to counterattack. So apparently uh, they do have a counterattack if you're close to them. I will hopefully avoid that. I need to continue uh, well, healing and just keep doing what I was doing before. I don't want to waste too many... Well, too much MP, I should say. Too many MP makes sense, too, if, if I say MPs. But it's still weird to say it that way. Stop counterattacking! Stop throwing my party! <laughs> You're moving them all over the place! How dare you! Are you dead yet? Good lord, I am going to use a lightning, too, because I am sick of this. Go, water, too. You guys need to die. Screw saving MP. Just die. Down goes one. Apparently they are not weak against magic because I was doing better when I was just hitting them. So I'm going to try to keep hitting them. Too far away to counterattack. You're not going to be too far away to counterattack this time. But I got a massive amount of damage on you. And he counters attack by throwing him into a wall. How civilized. Now he's throwing him at somebody else. How dare you. How dare you. Luckily I've got a plenty of ethers, so I should be able to to heal up if I so desired. Get 1,066 experience points, 30 tech points, and 900 gold. And a lapis. I will take the lapis. Nice. I haven't used those, like, at all. Probably should start. And that opens up a save point, which I will use.